the release of the new iOS 26.1 is now just around the corner. Finally, after going through the beta stages, iOS 26.1 will be released to the public. And in this video, I will show you guys everything that you must do before you try to update your device to the new iOS 26.1. Now, of course, this being the first big update to the new iOS 26, there will be a lot of people updating once it's released. So in this video, you will find everything that you need to know and do on your device before you update. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot. Now, the first thing you need to know is, of course, the release time. iOS 26.1 should be released to the public on Monday. That will be November the 3rd. If history is any indicator, this will be the day that Apple releases iOS 26.1 to the public. Now, the release time most likely will be the usual 10 a.m. Pacific time, even though lately Apple has actually delayed the releases for a few hours or minutes and they are not releasing them on the usual, usual schedule, but that was on the beta stages of iOS 26.1 and hopefully that will change with the public release so we get it at the usual schedule at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Not talking about devices, if you have a device on iOS 26, of course, it will be supported. Every device on iOS 26 will be able to update to iOS 26.1 as well. But if you have a device that is not on iOS 26, just know that the devices older than the iPhone 11 won't support iOS 26 or 26.1. Again, any device, of course, on iOS 26 will be able to update. Now, of course, updating will be very simple. I don't think I have to explain to anyone how to update an iOS device. It's very simple. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is that it will be a bit different for people that have been using the betas of iOS 26.1. So let me show you guys what to do here. So once you go to the software update page right here, if you have been on the betas and you have installed the RC version, then you're good to go. You won't see anything here because you already have the iOS 26.1 final release installed on your device. You just had it installed a few days earlier than everyone. Now, if you have been installing the betas, and you don't want to continue anymore with that because most likely during the week we will see the first beta of iOS 26.2. If you don't want to install that, then once you're updated here, you have the RC installed and you're good to go, just go ahead and go to the beta updates and make sure you have them turned off. Also, if you're on iOS 26.1, beta 4 or any other betas and you haven't yet installed the RC, I suggest you do that, install the RC. You no need, there's no need to actually wait for the public release because it's the exact same update. But if you just want to wait for it and not install the RC, then go right now and turn off the beta updates. That way you don't install the RC, but you get the final release here on your device, the public release, which again, you don't have to actually wait for. It is the exact same update. Now, one thing you must do before trying to update your device is make sure that you have enough free storage on your iPhone. These updates of iOS 26 have all been quite big in size. And as you can see right here, this is the release candidate. And right here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it came in just over eight gigabytes, meaning that the public release most likely will be around this size. It might be a bit bigger or smaller, but it should be quite big here at around eight gigabytes. Even the betas of iOS 26.1 have been quite huge in size and they require quite a lot of space to be installed. I don't know why, but you need at least the double the space to actually install a software update of iOS 26. So in this case, just keeping in mind that it would be some somewhere around eight gigabytes, then you will need at least 16 gigabytes of free storage on your iPhone. So you make sure you do that, you free up space before trying to update your device. Now to do that, the easiest way will be, will be to go to the iPhone storage section here under the settings. 
And as you can see, there we have the iPhone storage. You can see how much free space you have on your device. You will have a few suggestions here, a few recommendations that will allow you to quickly free up space on your iPhone. And then you will also have the apps here that are taking the most space on your iPhone. Now, if you don't have any way of freeing storage on your iPhone, then my suggestion is that you go ahead and delete one of these apps that is taking a ton of storage. Like you can see Facebook right here, the app itself is 380 megabytes, but the documents and data here are 7.6 gigabytes. Now, what I would do in this case, if I didn't have any other way to free storage, I would just delete this app completely, update the device, and then reinstall the app. Now, even when you reinstall the app, it won't be this big. Of course, these documents and data will pile up with time, but it will take quite a few months to actually come to this size. So in the meantime, you will have a ton more free storage on your iPhone. Now, another thing you need to make sure is that you have enough battery on your iPhone. These updates, of course, will take quite some time to download because they are quite big and it will take some time to actually install them on your device. So what I suggest you do is that you charge your iPhone before trying to update to iOS 26.1. Now, you can, of course, plug in your iPhone to charge and update, but the update process is quite heavy on the iPhone and it will heat up the iPhone a lot if it's also charging. So just charge your iPhone before at least 50% of battery before trying to update to the new iOS 26.1. I suggest you do that thing, of course, before trying to update so you make sure everything goes smooth. Now, another thing you must do, always back up your device. Updating an iOS device is actually very simple. The process is always smooth and it's most of the time nothing bad will happen. Your device will update and will run very good. But sometimes it might just go wrong. Something might go wrong. So you don't want to take the chance there. So go ahead and back up your device. There are of course ways to do that. You can do that through iCloud backup, which you can find right here at your profile at the, th at the top of your settings tab. You just go under iCloud. You will have the iCloud backup right here. Another thing you can do is back it up to a computer or a laptop. But if you use one, you want to do that. You can do that if you don't have storage on your iCloud. But just make sure just in case, most likely nothing will go wrong. But just in case something goes wrong, make sure that you always have a backup of your data. And the last thing you should know is whether you should update or not to the new iOS 26.1. Well, I've been using this software on my device since beta one, and it has been actually quite good. Keep in mind that the performance will be amazing. Of course, it will have a few bugs here and there, but overall using it on daily basis will actually be quite good. I didn't experience any like major issues with this update from beta one to beta four and the RC and the battery life is okay. It's basically the same that you, also, that you also get on iOS 26. So if you have iOS 26 on your device, that's most likely the exact same battery life that you will get also on iOS 26.1. But of course it will have a ton of new features and changes that will make your iOS 26 device much better. That's why I suggest you should go ahead and update to the new iOS 26.1. So that's basically for this video, guys. These are a few things that I think you should know and do before you try to update your device to the new iOS 26.1, which will be out really, really soon. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next one.